What a great way to take in a Tuesday afternoon. You're watching the NBA live on 2K Sports. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Tuesday, they'll go up against Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors. And you know for that matchup with New York, that's a game where you'd be surprised to see them lose. They'd have to have a really off night for them to get upset there. So here's Dallas's starting group. Hardaway Jr. is the three with Williams at the four. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. And it's Powell in at the five. And for the Suns, two great players inside. They have KD and Aiden. The deadly duo of Beal and Booker at the one and the two. And it's Okogi in at the three. Well, Grant, this is the type of game that may look lopsided, but as we've seen, anything can happen. Anything can definitely happen, B.A. And look, you have to understand that every guy in this league is talented. If you come in flat and those other guys are inspired, you can fall. But honestly, you shouldn't. It's all about handling your business. Now here's Doncic. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. You see Kyrie never hesitates as soon as he sees that open man boy it is on time outside Durant and there's the screen launches it from deep Doncic grabs the miss and so it's Doncic with it he brings it up for the Mavericks it's a three-point game pass to Powell Irving with it Booker defending Irving against Booker and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Durant. Back to Booker. About a minute played here so far in the first. Okogi, the pass to Booker. Screen by Durant. Booker with it. Irving picks him up. Booker can't get it to go. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Now Irving, an aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. Powell in the post, pounded by Beal. Clock at two. Here's Doncic. And that's good from 17 feet. Doncic has got five. We know that Luka's a three-level scorer. He's elite from any range. That time he goes to the midi. And what can you say about Luka Doncic that has not already been said? Here's a guy in his mid-20s and a perennial MVP candidate for us. Uh, his career is off to an extraordinary start. He's drawn comparisons to the legends of the game. And like so many of the greats, B.A., he is a one of one. The ability to command the game from all aspects is truly something to behold. Gets the three to fall. Now Kyrie shoots a ton of threes, and he makes a ton of threes. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tim Hardaway. That's his first foul. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And Phoenix has possession. They trail by six. Booker with it. Guarded now by Williams. And it's slammed in by Durant. What you love about this young guard, Devin Booker, is his ability to hurt you with both his passing and his shooting. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Irving against Booker. Irving, the pass to Powell. Hardaway on the wing. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Just five to shoot. Powell finds Hardaway from deep. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Deal, the pass to Durant. Shoots over Powell. Durant, no good. Dallas has gone two for three from outside the yard. Williams against Durant. Outside, Williams. Pass to Irving. 
the baseline J is on the way and it's Phoenix with the rebound and the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year and despite the difference in talent level these teams were fairly evenly matched last year Durant with a screen on Irving Beal the pass to Durant and stolen by Williams here's Irving oh not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it Irving's got five now well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. The three, Durant. Doncic pulls down the board. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Pass to Irving. Oh, denied by Durant. I think it's probably the most underrated aspect of Kevin Durant's game. He's elite defensively and sends that shot back. Right side, Booker. There's the triple. Durant's shot is off. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Hardaway, the pass to Williams. Outside Hardaway. Let's the three fly. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. It is unfair that a seven-footer can be that smooth, that agile off the bounce. Kevin Durant doing some nice work. Now here's Doncic. Five points in the game. Dallas no good that time either. And here's Booker. Pass to Durant, to the left side wing. Aiden, the screen on Hardaway. Clock at six. Kogi. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Dwight Powell. All right, Grant, as a team, how long do you think it takes to figure out if you're a legitimate contender? You know, B.A., a lot of teams come into the season thinking they are contenders. And they have to find out the hard way that, quite honestly, they're just not. But generally, I'd say you have a good idea after the first month or so of the year. And every year, a question that's frequently asked, does Dallas have the right mix of players around Luka Doncic? And B.A., this is a hot topic of conversation around the league. Luka Doncic is a ball-dominant player who's been absolutely brilliant throughout the start of his NBA career. But it requires a certain level of player around him. You've got to have guys who play defense at a high level and who can make perimeter shots. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Booker, pass to Gordon. Durant for three. Phoenix no good that time either. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Irving with it. In his last outing with 12 points. Goes up on the wing. Phoenix grabs the miss. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Okogie's shot is off. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. That free throw good from Irving. If you listen to other NBA players, Kyrie Irving is one of their favorites to watch. He has as complete an offensive arsenal and as pretty a game as there is. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Doncic passes to Lively. Back to Doncic. To the paint. Outside Irving. Fires from 14. Bowl grabs the board. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Lee misses. And Doncic has got the ball here for the Mavericks. They set the pick. Dallas no good that time either. The Suns trailing. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Gordon. Here's Bowl. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. 
Here's Lively. Still without a bucket. Pass to Doncic. The deep three. Sinks it. What range from downtown. And the Mavericks lead by eight. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Eubanks the screen. Gordon finds Bull. Pass to Lee. Back to Bull. Launches it. And the call over the back. At least the over-the-back call comes from playing hard. But you'd like to see him get better position. Now they like to fly in at the last moment rather than establish position early. First free throw is good. The Suns making a switch here. Watanabe's checked in. And the Mavericks making a change here. Both free throws good for Green. 24 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Lee. Green covering. Doncic against Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. Guys, you love the patience when Bradley Beal is running the pick and roll. Doesn't rush, plays at his own pace. And Doncic launches from deep. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. On the glass, he was an absolute tyrant, just owning the boards. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. For those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. The deadly duo of Beal and Booker at the one and the two. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Yuta Watanabe, and it's Durant in at the three slot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Holmes. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Green. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And the Mavericks lead by 10. Beal against Irving. Watanabe sets a screen. Beal goes in. Watanabe's shot is good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Dallas has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Inside. And it's Green missing. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. And there's the drive. Good work there as it goes. Beal's got six. Oh, off the bounce. Beal breaks down the defense. Irving, the pass to Green. And there's the lob. And it's hammered home by Green. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Durant. A threat for them offensively. He's recorded around 19 a game. Beal against Irving. Beal, the pass to Watanabe. Towered down after the assist led him to the lane. Terrific handle right there by Beal. Comes off the pick with his head up, looking for his teammates. The Mavericks leading. 
And Dallas calls time here. Of course, teams averaged over 114 points per game last year. The highest league-wide number since the 60s. Why is that? I think several things go into that, B.A., and I'll begin with the skill of these players. Really, the shooting off the dribble, the range shooting have been major factors in picking up the scoring pace, and then the pace of the game as well. Then you look at multi-tooled big men who can step out and make three-point shots. As always, several factors contribute to the higher score. Irving, and that comes off the assist by Green. Ten points for him. Best three buckets in a row off assist. And Booker's got the ball here for Phoenix. Eight-point game. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Memphis where they'll face the Grizzlies. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Josh Green is becoming a key 3 and D wing in Dallas. Mass legend Dirk Nowitzki said, quote, he's a great defender already. He's athletic. He plays super, super hard. And now he added the three-pointer to his game. Obviously, that's one thing he needed to get better at. He puts in a lot of work, right? Well, you can see it. It has absolutely paid off. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Aiden. Yet to see a basket. Aiden, the screen on Green. Here's Durant. Another one falls for Phoenix. Where Kevin Durant has really grown is manipulating pick and roll, making the right read, and this guy just adapts and adjusts so quickly. Here's Irving. Ten points for him. The three ball. Outside for Green. Second chance effort. Another miss by Irving. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. You know, when you think about Kyrie Irving's game, his ball handling is what still comes to mind. Yeah, you know, B.A., that and his killer instinct. Kyrie is one of the most creative players we've ever seen. A guy you can count on to come through in big moments. Here's Irving. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Here's Lively. Back to Irving. Five to shoot. And he converts the layup. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. The buckets, the game is just flowing for Kyrie Irving. Looks easy for him right now. And the Suns call time here. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Since we have a chance, let's see the player of the week for the Western Conference. Luka Doncic. Oh, it's been so much fun to watch him on the offensive end recently. He's really his team's engine on that end of the floor, sparking plays and helping them find open shots and big points. Now here's Booker. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. The Mavericks pull it in. They've led by as much as 10. Hardaway on the wing. Pass to Hardy. Doncic's left side. Shoots over Beal. Doncic, no good. The Suns have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Aiton passes to Bowl. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Bowl's got six points. Well, DeAndre Aiton is a team first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. Here's Hardy. Booker defending. For three, Hardaway. The Suns clear it. Aiton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Doncic against Beal. From the line. And he gets the jumper to drop. Give him eight points now. Well, the mid-range, always a solid option for Bradley Beal. And sometimes that's what the defense concedes. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Shooting from Dallas, Luka Doncic at the line for two. That free throw, no good. What you love about Luka Doncic is he's this unique combination of size and skill. He can really play cross positionally. He makes shots at all three levels so dangerous. And he's good on the second. Here's Beal. Give him eight points now. Eubanks the screen. 
A little mid-range shot is up. And it's Phoenix with another. Yeah, with his athleticism and that beautiful jumper, Beal has a chance to be one of the best two guards in the NBA. Doncic on the wing. Pass to Hardy. Outside, Williams. Five on the clock. Kogi pulls down the board. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Leo, the pass to Lee. Over Williams. Top of the key jumper, no good. Ugh, he forced that one. Not a productive trip up the floor. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Right there. Out to Beal. Eubanks the screen. Shoots it from the high post. It's good. Beal's got eight here in this quarter. I am simply blown away by his accuracy. He has made every shot, and what's most important, his team is winning. Pass to Williams. Outside Hardaway. Here's Hardy. There's the three. It's hauled in by Beal. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. To the left wing. Eubanks the screen. From outside the arc. The three. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, heads up play from Okogi. Got to be shot ready on the catch. He was more than up to the task. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And they had early success from the perimeter. But I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Down low. Powell with a steal. And now the Mavs on the run. Here's Hardy. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. There's 38 seconds left in the second. Gordon outside. Pass to Beal. With some arc. Okogi, the pass to Beal. Three on three. And he lobs it up. Oh, deflected. Doncic's shot is good. Boy, yet another night for Luka Doncic. This guy is forcing everyone to play at his pace right now. Beal outside. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Beal's got 14. Just great use of the rim to shield the defender from the ball and finish on the reverse. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Suns ahead. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be back right after this. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And looking at the Grizzlies matchup, that's one they feel good about. I mean, they're confident that they'll take care of business, but by no means is it a slam dunk. I feel you've been saving that one, Kenny. And time to switch gears. The Suns are in a close one after the first half of play. Offensively, they've been impressive, working together. You can tell this team has great chemistry. Kind of like us, you know, here in the studio, but not quite at that level. And that's not meant to be an insult. Some would say our chemistry is, uh, how did you put it, Shaq? Unmatched. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. 
How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. Well, one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And, boy, this young guy has done just that. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half. Luca and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Hardaway Jr. is the three with Williams at the four. And it's Powell in at the five, roaming the paint. Two shots. Free throw drops for Beal. Well, Bradley Beal is the epitome of being a triple threat. He can drive it, pass it, shoot it. The complete package on the offensive end, that defines Bradley Beal. And Beal drops them both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. From deep, here's Doncic. And that basket makes him 6 for 11, shooting a good percentage. The defense has to know they're going to get a steady diet of three-point shooting from Luka. You must contest. For three, Durant. KD, what else would you expect? Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And it's Irving missing. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Durant, the pass to Watanabe. Durant with a screen on Williams. Hooker against Irving from about 16. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. The quality decision making off that pick and roll. Booker just taking what the defense gives him. Doncic on the wing. Second shot opportunity. Luca, get off me. I mean, he's coming off a terrific performance in the last game, and he's still feeling it tonight. Oh, he sure is. I mean, these past two games, his energy level has been sensational. Whether it's a putback like that or other hustle plays, he's been everywhere. Here's Watanabe. Williams defending. Clock at four. Duran with a screen on Williams. Watanabe. Offline with a three. Shooting for Dallas. That free throw good from Irving. And it's Powell with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Doncic outside. Off the mark there with a three. The Suns have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. It's Beal on the wing. Screen by Duran. Second chance shot. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Kevin Durant has become masterful at drawing the contact. That is beautifully done. Kevin Durant, two shots. He throws good from Durant. Both free throws good for Durant. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Dallas has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Here's Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. Oh, my goodness. Look at Doncic. We don't think of him as a dunker, but that is well done. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. And Phoenix has possession. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Booker for three. Ooh! Booker doing Booker things. Boy, Devin Booker, one of the elite scorers in the NBA. The sweet spot, the corner three by D. Book. Doncic finds Irving. 
That one falls. Great set up by Doncic. Irving's got 15 points. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Aiden with a screen. Durant with it. Picked up by Powell. And Aiden gets it to go. Well, when you combine Durant's size with his vision and the touch on his passing, it's easy for him. The Mavericks trailing. Outside Irving. Stolen by Aiton. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Here's Watanabe. Williams grabs the board. The Mavericks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Irving, the pass to Doncic. On the wing, Irving. Booker defending. From 12 feet. And it's Irving missing. Phoenix has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Durant, pass to Watanabe. Durant with a screen on Williams. Here's Watanabe. Another three for Phoenix. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Let's go with a three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Outside Durant. Here's Watanabe. Uses the glass on the layup. And now it's an 11-point Phoenix lead. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Irving for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Aiden, the screen on Irving. Tries again. And it's finished off by Aiden as he lays it in. Aiton's gotten his second bucket of the game. Well, we're talking about a big-time rebounder. DeAndre Aiton's timing time excellent. And Dallas calls time here. Some changes for Phoenix. Bowl, he's checked in for Aiton. Lee comes in for Durant. And it's Gordon in for Beal. Jones, he's checked in for Dallas. Hardy comes in for Kyrie Irving. Suns on D. This is the most they've led. 13 points. And here's Doncic outside. Oh, Luka with a deep one. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Doncic against Booker. Pass to Watanabe. Three is up. Al pulls it in. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. 4-3. And Luka Doncic with the three. Doncic has got 13 points in this quarter. What a performance. Hit two from beyond the arc in the first half, and he's added three more since. Shot is good by Gordon. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Doncic. Luka proving he can score from anywhere. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Booker against Doncic. Booker attacking. And that one drops. Booker's got nine. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Harding, the pass to Jones. Now here's Hardaway. Here's Powell. No good. A bit long that time. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Oh, the pass to Gordon. Bull, a screen on Doncic. Back to Bull. It's rebounded by Dallas. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Jones. 
can't get it to fall. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Gordon, the pass to bowl. He gets it in there. Give him eight. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now here's Doncic. And he's got 28 now. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Lee. Defended by Hardaway. Pulls up at the elbow. And the basket by Lee. And the Suns lead by 13. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Now here's Booker. Here's Watanabe, and so it's the Phoenix Suns in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be right back with you shortly. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. Heading the backcourt, it's Beal and Booker. And it's Aiden in its center, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. There's a screen. Durant, the pass to a Kogi. Here's Beal, guarded by Doncic. Doncic against Beal. Six to shoot. Here's Durant. Another shot. Nice shot by Okogi. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting just 42% so far in the game. Now Williams. Pass to Doncic. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. And Dallas with a change here, too. Hardy, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute played. And it's Green missing. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Beal, the pass to Aiden. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got four assists in the game. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Irving against Beal. And that's good. Irving for three. Oh, guys, there are not many strokes more pure than that of Kyrie Irving's. And here's Booker. There's the screen by Bowl. Booker, the pass to Bowl. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Outside Jones. Green with a screen on Bowl. Irving finds Jones. Throws it up high. Stolen by Aiton. 
Beal outside. Here he goes. Back to Bull. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. And Irving has got the ball here for Dallas. Down by 15. Soft touch off the glass. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. Well, put it on the deck, get into a gap, and get a bucket. That is Kyrie Irving at his best. Outside Booker. This one for three. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. Phoenix calls timeout. Checked in for Durant. Powell, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Green. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. Despite the lead, Coach was stern with the guys, mentioning to the team, do not let up. I've seen some big comebacks in this league, and this is not over. An interesting message. PA? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. Now here's Booker. Here's Watanabe. Launches a three. And he missed there. Four for eight shooting now so far. Beal against Irving. Spins. Powell outside. Back to Irving. Shoots. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. The Suns have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Aiton passes to Bowl. Aiton with a screen. Booker against Hardaway. Phoenix no good that time either. The Mavericks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Pass to Irving. Back to Hardaway. Beyond the arc. And the Mavericks, another three. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. Here's Watanabe. Bowl, pass to Watanabe. Bowl, a screen on Hardaway. Here's Watanabe. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Dallas has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Shoots from 14. Again, the Mavericks, good for two more. How quickly Kyrie squares up so quickly after a dribble, even on pull-ups. That is difficult to guard. Hooker. Oh, no good again that time. For Dallas, they've gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Irving, the pass to Williams. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Williams has got his first points of the game. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Watanabe. Aiden, a screen on Hardaway. Back to Beal. Outside Booker. Shot clock at six. Tries the nine-footer. Oh, you can't let Booker get that close. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. And Dallas I'm calls time out. here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? And the Suns making a change here. Durant's checked in. Luka Doncic has checked in for the Mavericks. Irving with it. Pass to Doncic. Puts the fadeaway right on the money. Doncic has got five points now in the quarter. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. 
Here's Watanabe driving to the basket. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start. Getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. And he sinks the second. The Mavericks on offense. They're on an 11-3 run. Powell, a screen on Beal. And Doncic, here we go. Shoots over Beal. Misses off the left iron. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Booker for three. Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And Powell with the stuff. Outstanding timing from Powell. Rises up for the forceful alley-oop. The Suns leading. A minute 35 left to play in the fourth. Aiden, the screen on Doncic. Beal, the pass to Aiden. Aiden with a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Offensive board. Up and over Doncic. And the Suns miss again. And Doncic has got the ball here for the Mavs. To the middle. Here's Powell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Boy, Powell is proving to be a handful inside. Does a good job utilizing his long arms to get the call. He hits the first one. And that brings him within five. Perfect trip to the line narrows the gap. Phoenix has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Durant with a screen on Irving. Booker with it. He's picked up by Hardaway. And even with the stakes this high, I wouldn't bet against Booker. He has this shot really dialed in. At the line for your sons, Devin Booker. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. So he drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, you like when a guy calmly steps up, knocks down the free throws, exactly what you want. And here's Doncic outside, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Durant draws the double. It's Booker on the wing. Beal against Irving. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. And he's easily led the way on the boards tonight. He's competed for every missed shot. Feels like he's quicker to the basketball than anyone else out there. Irving against Booker. Back to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. How about the vision from Devin Booker? Yes, he can score it, but that's a pretty pass. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. 
even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now our New Balance player of the game, Devin Booker.